rise and shine, Bert said. Let's get our beekeeping on. Welcome back to Be Original. I'm your host, Tennessee Tim. I'm out here at Barbara's Bees. This is my, a couple of my mom's hives. I'm gonna go through them for her so she can see what she got going on. Y'all come on and go with me. Let's see what we got. down nicely. Good and quiet. Like I said, I know you can't see it from this angle, but this is a triple deep eight. And uh twist outside and see what we got in this thing. Try to get a little room. This farthest outside against the wall. We're still filling up this outside. Or this this side was against the, the outside wall. Let's get it right there. Let's keep checking and looking somewhere we got. I hope your bees are doing well this season. Beautiful time. And today is well, June the 9th, I believe. Middle Tennessee, it's mid 70s, probably. It's probably one of the nice down the street. So, capping that off. That's all nectar in the middle there, if you can see that. We'll keep going, they still. Still working on filling these frames. They're all heavy with nectar. Starting to cap a little bit there. All well, this whole top box is nothing but nectar. It's triple deep. Now, if you've been following along, not this one in my hand, but the next one is the reason why I'm here. Built a wonky comb back in the spring and it had larvae in it. I didn't want to tear them down. Big drones. You see these big drones walking around. They're good and, they're good and chill. You should be able to work your bees barehanded. I feel like. Right. They should be that chill. I see some. It's like Barbara from Barbara's Bees decided to walk out on the porch and check out what was going on in her head. Got one jumping up the fingers a little bit. It's best if you catch your stuff before it gets as far gone to cut it. And uh, scrape it off and comb. I let them just start over. But it had so many larvae in it, I just couldn't stand the thought of it. Killing all them baby bees. So I moved it up. Thank you. Oh, she's really bumping. Chill out, honey. It's just me. They still have cat brood in the middle of it right here, up in this third box. <clears throat> I was hoping it'd be back filled with honey, but now, turn that where you can see what I'm looking at. See, I, normally you scrape this off, you 
you can see it's two pieces here built one on top of this frame you know, scrape it off but it had gotten so far gone and had so many babies on it couldn't bring myself to scratch it off and throw it in the wax melter so i figured i'd move it up and let them backfill it and that's what they're trying to do but it and they are backfilling as these hatch out i see in a few more days that whole piece and then i cut it out and cut and stream method They got not much of it, but they have enough room for the time being, it appears. Let's go a little bit deeper. Yeah, like I said, I make these videos. I show my mom and dad inside what I'm seeing out here. No way. They don't even have to be in the yard with me, and they still enjoy beekeeping. All back filling with nectar. That's some cat breed right there. Let this hatch out. All right, girls. Don't get too jumpy. Y'all doing good. We got about two more to go. I'm gonna put the top on them. I do look that little J hook lifter. Sometimes when they're stuck in there tight, I get them up and get a hold of them better. That's a, that's a pure honey frame, by the way. Yeah. Capped on. I'll show you this other side of it. see that. Now you know me. I gotta give me a sample of that before I go in any further. Y'all just bear with me. Stick tight. We'll be right back after a few messages from our sponsor. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, we're back. Minus a plug of honey out of one corner over here. <sighs> had, to, had to sample the good, you know. You can't have them out here. I might get some of that bad honey or something. See what this on the outside looks like. Give them another few days for them babies to hatch out. And that's why I'm see how my frame, my foundation is falling out of my frame right here. And they're still filling it in, but when we extract this, we'll have to fix that foundation. They're back filling all that with nectar. As you can see. So all in all, the Triple Deep 8 is looking very good. A few more days, let that cat brood in there hatch out. And uh, we can come back in and uh, cut that big piece of wax off. I was gonna do it today. I, I did a cutout yesterday and got a quite a bit of wax. I need to crush, melt. I got some honeycomb I found. I'm gonna crush and strain, put in jars, and uh, just wanna check on progress. Y'all stay tight, let's see what else we got. All right, we've got another, this is that other double deep. Give you a little reference right there is the triple deep I just did. Wave at the camera, Barbara. Hi, y'all. She's out bird dogging me. Make sure I'm doing it right, you know how it is. Her and my dad. Big keepers back in the late 80s, early 90s, they were what would be considered today sideliners. Uh, she ain't never lost her love for these bugs. Uh, let's see what they got in this. on the lids always a good sign. This is in a squirrely position to work. Uh, and it appears they have done little to nothing in this upper box. So, <clears throat> what we got down low? 
get low, get low, get low. Get low, get low. Coming in. Beekeeper coming in. Birds is high. Electric fence is high back. You can see all that cat brood on there. Cat brood out of here. Set this to the side just a minute. Get against the lid. Got one or two. You ever get them one or two kamikaze bees? They just don't leave you alone for nothing. Bound and determined to give their life for their emperor. <laughs> Our empress in this case. Ah. Little kamikazes. Benzo! Nobody cares, Bert. Again, cat brood. Both sides. It's like, oop, didn't mean to pinch you, darling. Okay. Yeah. Don't you hate when you mash your finger on a stinger and you sting yourself? Most people don't get that when you say, eh, it wasn't her fault. I'm, she, it was my fault she stung. You'll hear beekeepers say that a lot. Kind of a windy day here in Middle Tennessee. Another cat brood. Let's see. Hatchy. See several waggle dances going on. That's always a good sign. Got the eggs and larva in this one. Oop, didn't mean to breathe on you girls. Let's see what happened. Y'all see that jump? I accidentally breathed at them. And your breath will set them off sometimes. One of the things you're paying attention to. Nice patch of cat brood on the back. You can see how that really set them off though. I hope the camera picked that rush up. <laughs> that was my mistake. Eh? A lot of this stuff is beekeeper error. A lot of times we make our bees pissy by how we do them sometimes and when we work them. How we work them. All right. A little queen cup. Dry down in. One cat brood. All this hatches out. I'm gonna go right on up into the next box. You would think. I see eggs. A lot of eggs, lots and lots of eggs, like legit wall to wall. I like to see them like that. Looking to see if I see Mamacita on here. This will be a very good one to find her on. 
We all had. Here I was, got them stirred up while I go breathing on them. You move bees with your breath sometimes. Let's see her down here. Maybe get back in, get them warm. Y'all leave in the comments what y'all are seeing. This, oh, that's a honey frame. It feels like a lot of weight to that. Yeah, the backs, back side of this. Oh, honey. There's a another seal cup. Mm, nothing down in. Still. <clears throat> Get that right off there. That's outside. Mm. I laid my thumb on one. <clears throat> Let's see it. See that in there? Break it out. It's that easy. They still have plenty of room down in. A little patch of honey. A little patch on this side. So they're doing good. They still have room. That's always a plus. Room is what you gotta have. When the flow is, if you got any kind of flow at all, you better have room on them. Because if you don't, they'll swarm off on you. Keep a check on making sure you got enough room in it. Y'all jumping. Come on, might as well have jump. Who's that, Van Halen? Jump! Might as well have jump. You ain't having fun when you're working your bees, you're doing it wrong. You ain't having fun, you're doing it wrong. Y'all check back later. <laughs>